Hey everyone, Tyler and Inner Fidelity. I mean, no, I'm sorry, Tristan here, back with another video. Just kidding. I wanted to do in this video a round two video with the Odyssey LCD5s. I actually recently picked these up. Um, they were actually a customer return from an authorized dealer. So I was able to get quite a good deal on these and just couldn't pass them up. Uh, one of the things is that one of the things about the Odyssey headphones that is nice is that the warranty transfers over. So as long as you have a receipt from the original purchase from an authorized dealer, your warranty is covered for three years on the drivers. And that is really important because Odyssey does have a history of having some driver failures with their headphones. And I myself has, have actually experienced that in the past with my prior Odyssey headphones that I had, the Odyssey LCD 4Zs. Although prior to that, I never had a problem with the drivers. I had the LCD 3 before and the LCD 2s before that. So anyway, that's something to note about Aussie and that's pretty good with these headphones. So, so anyway, these are a current version. These were actually manufactured in December 2022, so only about two months uh, prior to when this video is being made. So they're very current. And uh, I don't know if Odyssey has made a lot of changes over the last several months that the LCD 5s have been out, but I do think that they have made some changes. One of the major changes is with the headband. So the initial Odyssey LCD 5 had a very tight headband and a lot of people were complaining about that. The clamping force when you put them on was really tight and they were very uncomfortable. Odyssey has now come out with some different version of the headband uh, and they're just much more comfortable. Like when I put them on, they don't have a real hard, hard clamping force. They're not pushing in this way towards my head um, you know, that much, although they are still very sturdy. They don't fall off or anything. Um, so the clamping force is just about perfect now. I'm really glad that they fixed that because that's a big, big plus um, in terms of comfort. As you probably know, the LCD 5s are much lighter than other LCD headphones. They're only like 420 grams. Um, so I think that they definitely have a win winner in terms of that form factor. Uh, the lighter form factor is really, really much, much better than prior Odyssey versions. That's probably also another reason why they went with the acetate surrounds versus the wood surrounds, because I think the acetate tends to be lighter than wood. Um, so they're just really um, tried to make a lighter headphone. And, you know, I think that's uh, really good. Now, I don't know if Odyssey has made any like sound changes or driver changes since the LCD 5s came out several months ago, but I think they might have rolled in some uh, silent changes, um, you know, behind the scenes or something with the as, produ as the production goes on because the sound signature of these to me is not quite as mid forward as the initial LCD 5s that I heard when they first came out. These just don't have that overly vocally, for lack of a better term, tonality to them that the original LCD 5s that I heard did. Um, they are still warm headphones. They are still a bit mid forward, but not as much as before. So in that respect, I like the sound signature better because it's just more of a natural sound signature, not quite as mid range focused, although they are still warm headphones. Um, but nothing else has changed in terms of what I can hear in terms of like this overall sound signature. Um, you know, they've got great bass response and then they can go very, very low and really boom if you want them to. I actually tend to bass boost these up a little bit just because I'm a bit of a bass head and I like a little bit more bass, but you don't necessarily have to. Um, they've got plenty of bass just you know right out of the box. And the mids are really quite smooth and a bit forward. Um, and the vocals sound really good and clear and crisp with these. And then of course the highs are very, very resolving, but the LCD 5s have a great ability to not have harsh treble or harsh highs at all, but yet at the same time, really sweet sounding highs and very resolving highs, um, but at not like a metallic or harsh sound at all. I'm um, very natural and warm sounding. So I'm really happy with the sound signature. And that's one of the reasons why I purchased these because I do generally like a warmer sort of sound signature in my headphones um, and a bit of a mid forward sound signature as well. So the Odyssey LCD 5s really do kind of fit my listening preferences um, really, really well. One thing about them, however, is them being a warm sounding headphone, you may not necessarily want to pair them with a very warm amp. Like if you have a very warm tube amp, for instance, um, that might be almost too much warmth and you might even lack a little bit of resolution by doing that. But these pair very, very well with my Chord Hugo TT2, which is a very resolving DAC and amp. And um, these being a little bit warm just pairs extremely well with that high resolution coming out of the TT2. And then also the TT2 has plenty of power to drive these as well. Now, and now speaking of power, Odyssey recommends you have at least one watt of power up to five watts of power on the headphone amp for the LCD 5s. The LCD 5s are 14 ohms, but they have a sensitivity of 90 dB. So that means that they are still pretty hard to drive and you do want to have a pretty good headphone amp behind these. And in fact, they scale really well as well with a headphone amplifier. 
Um, so, you know, the TT2 that I have, I think can output something like 7.2 watts out of the single ended output maximum. So that's plenty of power, you know, to drive these. And um, I find that I'm getting a really nice sound out of the TT2 with the LCD5s for sure. I think that's really a great pairing. And that's something that I think you do want to kind of pay attention to is um, the when you're dealing with headphone amps and headphones, the pairing between the amp and the headphones can be very important, as I've mentioned, in terms of you don't want like a really bright headphone with a really bright sounding amp that's going to just sound all, probably overly bright you kind of want to mix and match the two you know at the same time you don't want a real warm sounding amp with maybe really warm sounding headphones that sound signature is going to kind of compound on each other um, it may not be as resolving or as nice of a sound as you might like so it's kind of nice to mix and match you know if you have like a real warm sounding amp then maybe have a less warm sounding headphone uh, and or vice versa so um, you know that's just something to be aware of but yeah I like the look and feel of these they do have a premium look and feel to them you know I like the carbon fiber headband and the new style is not as um, hard on the clomping force um, the yokes here are actually made out of magnesium they feel kind of like plastic but they're actually magnesium so it just have they just have a really good overall look and feel and high quality build quality as they should for headphones costing this much i mean after all the retail on these is what forty five hundred dollars or something like that so definitely expensive headphones they also come with a really cool case let me show that to you so this is the case that they come in and as you can see it's kind of a briefcase i think this is aluminum um, cladded briefcase it's quite light and one of the things about this case that's nice it's a um, pretty slim profile i mean it's still kind of a big case but it's not as thick as the prior lcd cases odyssey actually sells this case separately that you can buy but it doesn't fit their prior lcd headphones because the lcd5 is a smaller headphone they can actually get by with a sort of a thinner case for it so this particular case only fits the lcd5 and the carbon model of odyssey headphones but on the front of it you've got these latches here and if i undo them i can open it up and show you the inside here so yeah inside you've got a custom cutout you know for the headphones and your accessories you know like and, and you know and warranty card and all that so, so yeah this is a really nice case if you want to um take your headphones with you somewhere um, it has a nice handle and it's not too heavy like if you want to travel with your lcd5s this is a nice case so yeah i kind of like this case and also when storing it it just doesn't take up too much room it's not real super big and bulky it's just pretty much like the right size for protection as well as storage for the lcd5s so all in all, I do have to say that I'm quite happy with the LCD5s. I think Odyssey did a good thing with listening to customers in terms of the comfort of the clamping force on the head, headband, and they've changed that, uh, I think, within a few months of the initial release, uh, you know, several months ago. So now the new ones that you're getting these days have the new headband that is much more comfortable. And I really do like the sound signature of them. It has a very neat ability to be uh, extremely resolving, but at the same time kind of warm. And that compacted with the comfort of them means that you can listen to them for really long listening sessions without getting like listening fatigue at all. Um, they're just a very nice listen. And I kind of find myself listening to them for a long time and not really wanting to stop. Um, so that's a sign that uh, to me that they're, you know, a really um, great headphone. Very, the leather ear pads and ear cups are very plush and comfortable. The ear opening is a little bit small. And I mentioned that before in my prior video. Um, so the edges of the ear pads kind of rest a little bit on my ear lobes because I do have a little bit bigger ears but um, you do kind of get used to that and you know they're very plush and soft so it's not like it's necessarily hurting your ear or anything like that so I wouldn't say that they're like super uncomfortable in that respect it's just that coming from the hi Man Arias which have really huge ear cups and go totally over your ear the ear opening on this is a little bit smaller and a little bit more noticeable in that respect so i'll probably do another follow-up video on these in maybe six months or a year or something in terms of like a long-term review or something like that but if you've heard or you own the odyssey lcd 5s i'd love to hear your thoughts on these in the comments field or if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them and if you thought this video was kind of cool or real cool give it a thumbs up. If you thought it kind of sucked or really sucked, give it a thumbs down. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one.